now let's talk about video. As I told you, we don't have uh, optical video stabilization here. Nevertheless, the result is not bad. In certain kind of situation, like uh, you know, um, when I first uh, uh, bought the HTC One, I had the Green Day concert, <laughs> very nice, and it was really really great being able to you know recording video without having my all the scene shaking because uh, many many others people were you know jumping around me I mean I'm talking maybe about a stream situation in you know day-to-day -day use maybe you won't even notice that you don't have optical image stabilization we have here maybe the same kind of microphone that you know, um, HTC use for the HTC One. I mean, the one capable of recording uh, music at very, very high volume. Just to be able to test it, you know, I got into my car and you know, pump up the volume to the maximum level. My my ears were bleeding, but as you can see, I had no problem in recording the the audio even at this uh, crazily high volume. So I'm, you know, it could be that we may have some kind of microphone, uh, maybe if not exactly the one that we could find in the first patches of the HTC One, at least is something, uh, you know, not too far from those one. Well, we uh, talk about the um, audio quality of the video of the optical maze stabilization. So let's see now the video result. They are very good. Just a small anticipation. Uh, where is it? Here we are. So let's start. This is the 1080p video. Oops. Okay. As you can see, the video is very, very smooth. No particular problem. I mean, it's not perfectly smooth, of course. Don't get me wrong. But to be, you know, a 1080p video, it's quite good, I must admit. We have many, many scene mode here. We have normal 1080p, we have HDR 1080p, we have normal 720p, and we have uh, high frame 720p up to 60 frames per second. Then we have the volunteer mode. So let's go on. This was the 1080, then we have the 720. This is the 720p video. Uh, S41, I noticed that this 720p video, I, I don't know why, it's maybe a little bit less smoother than the 1080p. The same things happen with the HTC One. This is the Ryan T video. Very nice, but the problem with the Ryan T video is that we have very, you know, low resolution. We have seven. 68 for 432 so very very low resolution and we have here this is the yes this is the 720p high speed so uh, up to 60 frames per second this is a very very good frame rate completely smooth it's great but it's just let's say a 720p and then we have the HDR mode. So as it was for the uh, HTC One, even here the HDR mode, it's quite good in certain situations, but does suffer for quick panning. You know, we have uh, extremely rapid ch changes for what concern brightness, and this is something that happened in, uh, exactly the same with the HTC One. But to be honest, we have to. Uh, you know, say that with others devices um, like the SPSZ, there are not so many devices having HDR video recording, at least in the in the Android world. But the SPSZ had better result for concern HDR. So now let's speak a little bit about the technical specs. We have um, 1080p at um, recording and 21. Uh, 21 megabit per second at 30 frames per second. The audio for every kind of uh, video except for the Relenti video which doesn't have audio at all. 
it's always recording at 192 kilobit per second at 48 kilohertz and stereo mode so I won't repeat it in the other video then we have the 720p video which is recording at 12.7 megabit uh, per second in bitrate at 30 frames per second and we have always the same audio quality 720p at 60 frames per second we have a bitrate of 12.4 megabit per second so the bitrate is a little bit less than the one we could find as normal 720p which means probably that we have less quality per frame that we had in uh, uh, in respect to what we could find into this normal 720p then we have the reality video the one i showed you before which had a bit rate of 3 megabit per second and we have the uh, 1080p warranty which has 20.2 bitrate at 30 frames per second so this is uh, everything for what concerns video reproduction now let's analyze the uh, uh, sorry video shooting now let's analyze video reproduction we have more or less the same behavior that we have with many other Android devices nowadays I mean we can reproduce MKV file, this is 720 MKV file and this one is 1080p MKV file but we didn't have uh, an AC3 codec so well, you won't you, you, know, you, know, you won't be able to hear the, the sound of this video then for what concern the other standard just let me find the videos where are they where are you guys test video, here we go this is very nice. We are able to reproduce Windows Media Video file. This is a 480p, while this one is the 720p. So they think this things is not quite common. Usually, Android devices are not able to reproduce Windows Media Video files, except for a few smartphones. So we can reproduce 720p and 480p, but that's some problem in reproducing 1080p. As you can see, Windows Media Video file no problem at all in reproducing mp4 file and let me tell you this display is gorgeous uh, it's big it's perfectly perfectly you know um, set up for concern color balance it's really really great great viewing angle it's almost i would say almost perfect so no problem in reproducing mp4 no problem reproducing xved we have some problem in reproducing uh, divx and uh, avi codec i don't know i can not even select this kind of file of course all the problem for concern video reproduction uh, you know will fade away if you use a third party player like dice player or mx player for instance now let's talk a little bit for what concerns music this is the default music player of course it's very very nice it's exactly the same we, we could find uh, into the HTC one and apart from you know being able to automatically recognize and download both uh, the uh, album uh, picture as well as the fan art for what concerns the singer or the uh, group you know you don't have uh, many jingles and bells here but nevertheless it's very very good we have this way you know of uh, of reproducing file which is quite choreographic I would say it's uh, quite nice what is really interesting is that the stereo speakers of this butterfly has is very good as well as it was for the HTC One, maybe a tad, you know, uh, they are not uh, exactly louder as louder as the uh, ones into the HTC One, but they are very very good indeed, especially for reproducing music. If we you know use them for uh, you know sp speakers during a phone call. They are very good indeed, but if you use maximum volume level, they start cracking maybe a little bit, but they will. And 
what else the beats audio profile is very 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 good the beats audio function it's a pity that as it as it is for the HTC one we cannot select any kind of profile for what concerns the beats audio as we could do for instance for other devices like the HTC one X for those of you that does remember it it, it, it I mean it, it wasn't uh, uh, an epoch ago it was just maybe a year and a half ago something like this two years ago maybe a year and a half, I would say a year and a half but the, the volume of the of the headphones is very good you don't have any kind of problem so we can say that we have a very good player I suppose for the HTC one of course then the last things what concern the multimeter side of this device is the uh, TV remote application because I do remind you that the um, butterfly as as it was for the HTC one as an air buster uh, always behind the main uh, the, the power button here but here is exactly into the middle of the upper front then um, this you know it's this exactly the same application we could find with the HTC one <coughs> sorry it's quite good because you can decide where you want to see DVB-T channels or even satellite channels or you can see what's going on on TV right now and even change you know the the channel or just give a look to the uh, you know the octaves or the actors or the you know story that you're going to see you can even mark it as ferret so you will have it and you will find it easily it will be you know proposed to you more easily than other others you know movies or TV programs let's say we have even this uh, rental service it's like watch but um, I guess a watch was disabled in, in, in Italy and some other countries what is really interesting that we can of course uh, set up a different remote for every you know room uh, selecting uh, a remote for TV one for the blu-ray player DVD player auto player or whatever and when we press button we have the like red light here lighting up which is quite a kind of choreographic nothing but a kind of choreographic and what is really interesting is that as for the HTC one if we have a lock uh, a lock screen but we are using the remote controller if we just put it down like just imagine you are on the sofa you change the channel or the volume then you you know uh, take your uh, HTC butterfly as uh, on a side when it goes you know like this turns off the display if you just keep up the device you know as you can see you won't even have your lock screen you just get directly into the remote which is very very useful when you are watching TV and using of course this kind of remote so this was the last uh, you know uh, things for what concerns this multimedia focus on the HTC Butterfly S as, you, uh, as usual you know thanks for watching hope you enjoy this video if you liked it you know uh, place a, a like into the video subscribe to the channel and once more thanks for watching and bye from Technomost